The other film that I love, Friendship, is Ye Jawani Hai Diwani. I love that friendship. And why do you love that film? I just love who the Who all are there in the just, film? I just said Tell it. me who all are there in the film. Tell me the cast. We also don't have chai with chatur netis. We have, I don't want to say paan with paan days. <laughs> it doesn't sound so exciting. But uh, yeah. Oh, we no, are, no, 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 no. <laughs> but so a lot of times when people ask me when I go in these, what do I do? I always make up a story. Like so, yeah, yeah. So That's literally, so day before yesterday, my friend had an opening of her store in Bandra, and uh, a couple of people were sitting next to me, and they were sipping on their wine, and they were like, "So what do you do?" I said, "I'm a doctor." Shadi ho rahi hai un dosto ki. Bulaye sangeet mein free mein to nahi na chunga. Welcome to Film Companions Front Row, where we are exploring modern day friendships. What a joy it is to see a packed house. May I officially say that this is the first time we've had to say, sorry, we're overbooked. <laughs> But guys, clearly, clearly this is a topic that we are all as confused and curious about. And of course, we want to hear it from the cast of Kho Gaye Ham Kaha, a film that I've had the pleasure of already watching and I've had a thoroughly enjoyable experience so without further ado allow me to introduce my guests ananya pande sridhan chaturvedi and adarsh gorav we'll awkwardly apologize for traffic first yes very bad traffic must huh? acknowledge Bombay. must must sorry to so keep you guys sorry waiting guys. So, so sorry, sorry guys we really wanted to be here before time but uh, we're coming from bkc And it's just really bad traffic. It's really bad. And uh, so sorry. And thank you so much for coming out in large numbers and supporting us and being here for us. Thank you, Mr. Wall. Thank you. On that note, let's get this party started. Yes. I'm going to start off by we're getting into exploring modern day friendships. So I'm going to start by putting you guys in a bit of a spot and asking you what is the defining energy. that each of you bring to this friendship trio that just makes it click because i have to say the three of you are quite a vibe okay oh, thank, oh, thank you. you do we answer for ourselves or yeah what do you bring to this dynamic how do i know in fact we should actually uh, should we say about each other each oh, other that's Switch that's mm. uh, <laughs> i think sid brings humor sid does bring humor yeah i mean when you we were getting late right now i was i reached before them that's why i was like i was waiting for them So and I had to pee. I really had to pee, and they didn't, didn't let me get out of the car. I know how I, I handle that. We don't want to know how to <laughs> yeah, handle yeah, that. Like, anyway, you were gonna get off like on the way from on the road. No, I, I was here. I was waiting outside. Ah. I was waiting for them because they were. So he's me. clearly not the one that's always late. Who is? <laughs> Uh, you know how the mighty have it's fallen. It's actually really it's funny. It's actually really sad because Sid has not always. Many times Sid has been late, wow. and we're always so punctual, but. traffic got the best was but sid does bring humor i think adarsh brings calmness he makes me feel very calm when i look at him he's Adash. not feeling so kicked about them i i always thought i bring the madness in the group as a person of calmness no you very you mean at least you might be mad but you make me feel calm oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah that's good that's Boy. sweet calm calm man i think she uh, brings in the sensitivity in the group yeah oh. yeah she does yeah? well that's, that's a very functional relationship because yeah. we have yeah. humor calm and sensitive that's why i often don't joke around her is too sensitive <laughs> i've always wondered and come in here guys how do famous people make friends like does fame ever get in the way of friendship i ask this because ananya you've been famous for a large part of your life and the two of you sort of got famous overnight mm. so does uh, fame ever get in the way of friendship like how do you know that someone is your friend because of you versus who you are because uh, you have friends before you were famous and then you retain yeah. them yeah uh it should not get to your head i think that's the only uh, way to you know handle that yes it's a little challenging but i think the, i'm blessed with my friends you know and they're still there uh, they're always rooting for me and rooting for me so i just you know my uh, my uh, effort is to just kind of retain that and um, and yeah they've stayed and i think they'll stay 
Yeah, I think it's the same thing for me as well. It's about, like I'm still best friends with everyone I was friends with from the age of four. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite shy even though I seem extroverted. I am shy, I feel awkward talking to new people sometimes and making friends and I do have those doubts. Does someone like me for who I am or do they just like me because of, you know, because the fact that I'm an actor. So I do have these doubts but I feel really grounded because of my friends. I think they've kept me sane throughout everything. Like I think after a long day of shoot, there'd be nothing I like more than just going and chilling with my school friends because they're so out of this world. You know, they talk about such different things that I also feel normal then, you know, everything feels all right in the world when I'm with my friends. Yeah. yeah, I think a little bit of what both of them are saying and also like when I meet new people now, I'm always interested in talking about not cinema, but other things. So that way, if, that way I get to know that, okay, this person's not interested in my profession or as a consequence, like, you know, he's not a friend as a consequence of what I do. But like, just talking about general things, you know, whether it's like politics or sport or animals or anything else. I feel like that's what makes it interesting. And also, I, I used to play the silly game and I still do, like, because I don't think like people at large know who I am. Sure, like, selected pockets. But so a lot of times when people ask me when I go in these, what do I do? I always make up a story. Like, so yeah, yeah. I, so That's literally so day before yesterday, my friend had an opening of a store in Bandra and uh, a couple of people were sitting next to me and they were sipping on their wine and they were like, so what do you do? I said, I'm a doctor. And they were like, oh, okay. Thank God, I got like a heart attack and, or something. You know, what do yeah. you? So, and I just improvise because it's not something I decide, right? So then they're like, oh, really? What, what, uh, what, like, what kind of doctor are you? I said, no, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, studied neurology and uh, I'm a neurosurgeon and they're like, wow, really you look young. you look really young to be a neurosurgeon. <laughs> I said, yeah, you know, like I'm 33, but you know, I mean, it's it's how I look. And they're like, oh, wow, so which which college? And then I just keep improvising like all no, the go. I don't know where it's, this is not, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where the story is going. I don't know how long the round of questioning is going to go on for, but it's a fun exercise. Is your real name actually Adarsh? So Have you been lying to us the whole so time? So basically, you, oh, you, you are still acting around your friends. I am. I mean, not new my people. friends. New people. This was That's a store people. opening in Bandra. So how how do you expect them to become your friends? Because because he's so excited. I mean, it's just a ge general conversation we are having, right? So like, I improvise, then they ask me something, and yeah, we just we just. What else? How do you what else have you been in life? Uh, a doctor. Uh, I've been an engineer once, and uh, I've worked for the Nat Geo once, Achha. and that was actually like uh, working for Nat Geo was actually my dream in college. I wanted to be a documentary <laughs> filmmaker. Aaj kya and the <laughs> Depends. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be a tree climber today. I want to be a professional tree climber. I want to get paid to climb trees. Love it. Fun job. Oh. Love it. Listen, speaking of modern day friendships, uh, I have to ask. The two of you had a little blip in your friendship a few years ago when a certain comment on an interview went viral. That was I'm, the start of our friendship. Not I actually want to know how you sort of worked through that to reach this place of very easy camaraderie because that's what I see when I see the two of you. That was the icebreaker. <sighs> yeah, and then he went to a glacier, <laughs> I think, in the first day of our friendship. But I said this today also, like with Sid, I can just call him and tell him what I feel. And I've done that with him all the time. Like if I felt um, that something was not okay or if he feels something is not okay, whether it be like professionally or personally, I think it's it's... That's the way we've kept it so far. We've always told each other and it's it's a really good uh it's a good way to be with anyone, I feel like. I'm the kind of person, if I'm not okay with it, I'll tell someone. I'm not gonna keep my feelings inside because I'm a cry baby. Like it's gonna show in my face in one second how I feel. So I'd rather just let it out and tell the person how I feel. And that's possibly why like we're yeah. friends today. <laughs> yeah. Are we? She's like she's looking leading to you yeah, to yeah. add your turn. Of course. I mean, what? Why are you putting me in the spot? I mean, That's my like job. She said. I mean, um, but we, it never actually, uh, you affected know, us. affected our, our friend because we did Gehraiya right after that. Yes. Uh, we did Khoge and uh, guys have seen the trailer. I mean, I'm a actor who's not good enough to fake it. So speaking of that easy camaraderie, I just feel like there's a lot more that goes into creating it on screen, and I want to get into that a little bit. How does the one sort of just make sure that that lived in very cozy comfort that you guys managed to get in the trailer and the film that I've seen. How does the one go ahead and create that? Like, what did you guys do? Was there workshopping involved? Yeah. How did you reach this ease of being? There's actually a lot of workshopping involved. Um, initially, uh, we did some workshops with Atul Mungia. Uh, he's, fantastic. he's fantastic. And we did a lot of trust building exercises. 
we uh, went through like different emotions like you know we cried we laughed we did all of those things and we saw each other being very vulnerable uh, we also did workshops we did readings with pooja and sheena khalid um, post that we went to goa uh, which was actually just like a, a you know a, a trust building exercise it was a party honestly it was like a five day party where we just got to know each other spent time and while we were doing all that eating burgers riding on our scooters we also shot on our phones and that actually became the song the first song that was I mean, released the visuals which you see are exactly what we were and we were absolutely unaware of that and ananya actually shot most of it because the phone was in her hand yeah, yeah. yeah. just gave me the phone they were like you seem like you're good with selfies and pictures and stuff you shoot everything i was like okay you're making a movie yeah. made a movie yeah which is <laughs> made a movie yeah yeah so it actually happened really naturally and i think the workshops and workshops in general Whenever we workshop for a film, it's really, really helped and shown yeah. on screen. Yeah. yeah. In fact, the two of you were obviously doing Gheraya right before. Yeah. So I'm curious to know how important is it for you to know the process of your actor in order for you to best serve a scene? Does it help to know exactly their beats? I mean, I'm only and only here because all because of all my co-actors. My co-actors have built me. Um, maybe Ranveer or uh, Deepika. um or ananya i mean i am as good as you know how they look at me so um it's very important for me i mean it's it's um yeah i mean that's what it is i i really really uh, feel that it's very important for your co-actor to kind of be in the same uh, sync with you um you know there are things then magic happens you know then you improvise then you there's so many things you know their lines they know your lines they know your mood uh because yes we are actors we come on set but you know th- there's our personal lives as well so a lot of things are happening so it it really helps if you're close uh with your uh, co-actors and uh, it really kind of uh, um makes it easier uh, i would say uh, so i think uh, so far i've been fortunate to be you know working with uh, all my co-actors actually they have been just very very sweet and very very helping do you know his process two films in uh-huh. I don't think it's important to know the other person's process acting is a lot about reacting at the end of the day and you have to play off each other but you have to leave some stuff up to chance and magic and spontaneity so I don't think it's important to know his process but I know that Sid relies on music really heavily that's something that I've noticed about him like before a shot he'll always have his like airpods in his ear and he'll be in a corner listening to music so that's something that I've noticed about him others like improvising a lot so every take that he does will be different from the other take so i guess that's what i've noticed but I, it's not their process but yeah. yeah i think it's just important to be acting with individuals who are open to receiving and who are yeah, empathetic right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know and uh, also what's interesting is that the way you see yourself as a character versus how your co-actor is seeing it yeah because a lot of times uh, what happens is you've built your character in your head in a certain way and then when you go workshop or when you go on set you realize that your co-actor is looking at your character differently and that actually helps you mold your character a bit yeah. you know because when you're too close to it sometimes and when you've read it so many times although it, every time you read it you discover something else and all of that um but the way another person is looking at you who's also involved in the in the same film um who's involved in the same world is very important for me right you yeah. said a really beautiful thing uh, about acting he sort of described it uh, to scuba diving uh because he says that when he uh gets into a role it's like getting into the water and he feels like he's drowning he's going to die and every bone in his body feels that way but he also knows that when he comes out of it he's going to feel like a new person like he's been born again yeah. do you guys feel that way as well and what aspect of your personality did these characters help you tap in real life i am mean, yahan baitha to mere se thodi na shuru hota hai <laughs> No, it is. It is scary. I I'm always nervous before every shot, before every first day of shoot. I'm always I'm always nervous, and I like that feeling of being slightly nervous because it keeps you on your toes. Um, it keeps you, you know, hungry and wanting to do better all the time. I'm never satisfied with anything that I do. You know, I always feel like I can do better. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're always searching. You're always nervous, searching. You know? Yeah. Um, because I feel like the moment you stop searching, you become boring. Yeah. uh so i feel like if you keep searching you might be you might be seeing only two options in front of you at that point in time but if you keep searching if you're alert which comes from nervousness yeah. it makes for a more interesting choice yeah. and sometimes it makes for a foolish choice 
and you might miserably fail. But sometimes uh, I think there's a lot about being an actor is making those foolish choices and letting the ugly come out sometimes so that something beautiful yeah. can eventually also come out. But you have to be okay being a fool also, I guess. Sometimes. Like there is a scene, for example, in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a scene with Lala. I won't get into the details of the scene, but there we did the scene a specific way in the workshop for five or six months. Uh, a day before we filmed the scene, I called Arjun the night before and I said, yo, listen, I have a radical idea about how this scene could be. And it was nothing like how we had done it. Arjun got, Arjun was like, what is the idea? I said, I won't tell you. I'll just do it for you. And these are, these are, these are the benefits that you get when you're working with someone who's making a film for the first time. Because <laughs> then they can, they can sort of listen to you. So Arjun was like, all right, okay, uh, let's see what you have. And then the next day I came, I did, I did the scene in the way I wanted to do it. He was really excited. He was like, shit. Because he, he was bored of seeing the scene the yeah. same way for six months. We spent four and a half hours doing it. Four and a half hours later, he was like, I don't think this is working out. And I was like, Arjun, you're right. I don't think this is working out. And then we went and did it the same way that we had been doing it all this while. The point being that if I hadn't gotten that idea out of my head, I would have for the rest of my life regretted. Yeah, the production would have shown even happier. But for the rest of my life, I would have had that stuck in my head, been like, why didn't I try that? What what if something would have happened? But nothing happened. And so you had to get it out of your I system. I had to get it out of my system. I love that one for love take. You know, just like do yeah. whatever you so want, yes, try yeah. whatever you feel like. Even Arjun used to do that. Yeah. You know, he's like, do one for yourself. Like, you know, yeah. take one for yourself. And that's probably sometimes it's really silly and it doesn't work out but sometimes there is something that you find but yeah. I, I forgot to answer the second part of your question I mean there's always something that you take away from your characters and then there's always something that you leave behind you know I, I find Ahana very similar to how I am as a person uh, so I related to her a lot so for me it was a very cathartic experience to play her because a lot of what I was feeling in my life that I wasn't letting out at that point was coming out through her you know I was able to deal with a lot of my emotions through her so so it was a healing experience. I don't mean to get too like therapy types about it, but it was very this healing. This is a group therapy session, hey just guys, saying. Group hug <laughs> after this. That's why I'm quiet. <laughs> yeah. In so, front of so many people, therapy, no. <laughs> Yeah, so you take something and then you leave a little bit of yourself behind. Like I miss her, like I find myself just being like, I want to go back. I feel like there's a little more that I could do. Yeah. 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 You know, oftentimes you've talked about how you're constantly feel like you're disappointing people around you uh, and you know like just this feeling of inadequacy I want to ask you when you have someone like a Zoya Akhtar who could literally have cast anyone for this role and now a Vikram Aditya Motwani sort of put their weight behind you does it help ease the load of what you feel? You know, I'm the kind of person, like, nothing can ease my load. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm disappointing everyone right now when I'm talking. Also, I'm like, please she... laugh at my jokes and, like, find me funny. I'm always feeling like I'm disappointing people. But that's, like, me. What? He loves you. Oh, oh. you think that's so sweet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I always feel like that. So that's, like, a personality problem that I kind of need to figure for myself. But um, no, it is definitely reassuring uh, when, you know, directors put their faith in you and they feel like, you know, the, you can, can be a part of executing their vision in, in a certain way. So it is reassuring. But uh, as I said, I think I need to like satisfy myself a little bit. I think it's more about proving to myself that I can do it sometimes. And what's it going to take? I don't know if I knew I'd be fine. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. You know, coming back to friendship and since you've been a little quiet, I want to take you back to an interview that you did right after Gully Boy where you talked about during the making of that film, you found yourself becoming a bit of a loner. You sort of isolated yourself from your friends because you felt like you needed to focus. And also because his friends' mothers would often tell them, Isse dur rehna, ye to kuch actor banne nikla hai. Achha. What do you want to tell the aunties now? How's the feeling? Shadi ho rahe hain doston ki. Bulaye sangeet mein free mein to nahi nachunga. Mil gaya wo wala line. He always has these lines ready. I don't know yeah, where he writes them. Like, I don't know how he's always ready for these like, things. Did you have chat before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how does it feel like? Mm, it feels good. It feels good to be uh, able to uh, be uh, paid for what you love doing um, and uh, the, I still follow that process by the way I, I still uh, like isolating myself when I, I'm getting into the process you know getting under this trying to get under the skin of the character but uh, as I said uh, the thing is I never try to um, uh, you know uh, 
uh, attach results to that you know extracting anything out of the character so that you know you know how i learned this from this character i never try to do that because i think it kind of pollutes my thought that i'm doing that for a selfish thing that oh this character will give me this thing uh i think the job is to um, for me the job is to kind of get under the skin of the character come back home and be and i don't want my parents to not you know uh, that they don't know me anymore because the more characters you play because i want to do a lot of characters ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए एक दिन की मैं पहचान ही नहीं कि कौन है मतलब इतनी सारी चीज़ें मिल गई यहाँ पे सो द जॉब इज टू एक्चुअली गो अंड द शावर वॉश इट ऑल ऑफ एंड जस्ट बी नॉर्मल बैक एंड दैट्स वाई यू नो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव दो सेम फ्रेंड्स सेम फैमिली बिकॉज दैट पुल्स यू बैक टू रियालिटी एज मच एज अ कैरेक्टर इज ब्यूटिफुल इवन इफ आई प्लेड इट आई लव वॉचिंग इट बट आई आई थिंक देर लॉर ऑफ अदर थिंग्स इन लाइफ एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ वे यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम रियल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस बट to learn from my own acting and own character study is the last thing i would want to do i would want to learn from real people uh people who have achieved things in life and be around them and try to extract and learn rather than you know a uh, fictional kahani mein koi kirdaar ka koi quality acha hai because wo hoga nahi because mujhe bhi malum hai main acting kar raha hu aapko bhi malum hai main acting kar raha hu uh, so to wo wo cheeze kai impact mere mein to nahi aata hai jo main jaisa tha waisa hi hu and i uh, my struggle is to be that to remain this so that I'm like a canvas where I can paint anything and come back again, uh, be white, all white, so that I can paint again. Uh, so that's my, uh, uh, you know, um, view on how to kind of get an in and out of uh, these things. But then, when the walls around you sort of get larger and the entourages also get larger, uh, does you do you ever worry that access to real people will get limited? Yeah, always. Uh, that's my nightmare. um the more the better things happen in life uh, it's it's almost like a cash 22 right the bigger you get the lesser exposure to people you get like um i want to meet meet each and everybody here and i want to talk to them and just sit with them and you know i'm going to hold you to it i'm just yeah, saying yeah, my god <laughs> i want to know their journey i want to know their life uh, but that's the thing you know uh, there may be a real doctor and engineer in here <laughs> as well <laughs> oh shit yeah <laughs> Yeah but yeah there are limitations to that and I I don't know till when can I you know kind of keep pushing but even after like my last film phone booth which which didn't work I took a year break and this is my film which is coming after a really long time uh I take these breaks very consciously I do not because I really want to I feel like I've emptied myself I've given everything so I need to come back again to the neutral ground and uh, start from zero so I really really feel strongly that it's becoming even more difficult for me to do that the more i work and the more uh, you know i go out and the more kya har cheez comfortable ho jati hai na life mein aapko aapka rumal gira hai to char log aa jayenge uthane aur ye sari cheeze aap kai baar hota hai set pe main kahi jata hu jaise ki main shot diya maine aur main ja raha hu kahi aas paas kahi baithe hain to wahan pe jo hair makeup sab log sab log uth jate hain baithne ke liye maine bola bhai ye aur ye har baar dekha hai maine this is something which i really don't like um but yeah that's that's what is being created slowly and slowly and i I'm trying my best to kind of break that, and I'm trying to be just, you know, being normal is the most beautiful thing in this these times, and you know where you're exposed to everything right now, your reels, your entertainment, everybody is a star, everybody is famous. Uh, it's not so, um, uh, you know, um, rare to be famous anymore. So everybody is there's so much noise, and it's so difficult to be normal and to just be minimal. Um, that's what I'm uh, trying to do, and that's what I'm want to keep because I want to keep working on my craft. how how do you stay normal well i haven't become that famous yet so i don't know what it means to do that but what i surely do believe in is that i uh, you know you need to be on the street so as much as you can so uh, whether it whatever that means for you like you know whether it means you going to your sabzi wala buying your veggies whether it means you going out for a jog talking to a stranger near the pan dukan whether it uh, whether it means for you to travel to a place where nobody knows you but i think it's very important to stay connected to the pulse of the country and to understand what people at large are going through because only then will you be able to accurately represent them right because yes. yeah. you're playing real people yeah. yeah um i definitely feel like uh, i'm very privileged because i was born in a small town and i grew up in a big city uh and i come from modest means so i feel like i got the best of all the worlds and um growing up i moved so many houses in mumbai Uh, which at that point in time felt like a felt like a pain because it meant moving every one and a half years and it meant you couldn't paint the color of 
मतलब आपको सफेद अगर करनी है और अगर हरा है रंग तो आप नहीं कर सकते हो बिकॉज यू टू टेक परमिशन यू नो ऑल दीज लिटिल थिंग्स वुड रियली लाइक इट यू अप बट आई फील ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स हैव नाउ बिन सो इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन मी बींग एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्टार्ट ऑफ द सोसाइटी फ्रॉम डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्टेट्स एंड इट्स मेड मी मोर पेशेंट एंड एम्पथेटिक विच आई एम वेरी वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर yeah you've lived a very cocooned life same house same school same yeah everything has been same only since i was a kid and i feel very bad about it you know because i think since i've become an i mean it's a great life i'm very grateful to my parents and everything i i don't mean to say i don't mean it like that i feel bad because when i'm an actor i feel distant sometimes from the stories that i want to be a part of i'm like okay i don't understand this but i want to understand it so in my capacity of like i think right now it's not like everyone in india knows who i am so i still have the liberty to go to places to talk to people as much as i can to try it. like when we were shooting for dream girl in mathura i would just take that tuk tuk and i'd go and i'd bargain and buy some bangles or some modaks or something and that made me feel a lot more connected you know it made me feel like okay this i felt more a part of the world and it, it was the best that i could do in that moment so it it is tough it, and it gets tough for uh, with more films that you do but you have to do your best you have to travel you have to interact with as many people as possible and a simple conversation with anyone can make a huge difference they don't have they can be from anywhere but it's like just listening to stories is being a better listener i think is very important and just observing like i just like i am like a people watcher like i'm just constantly looking out of my car window and staring and trying to guess like what two people are fighting about or what their dynamics are between each other so i like doing that i like observing and stealing things from people it's so cool if you can actually disguise yourself and start yeah, going to places like yes it'll take more than a mole more effort to disguise yourself <laughs> one mole but that that be really cool look yeah. cuz i remember reading these panchatantra stories as a kid when the king would when he would want to know about what's happening in his praja he would yeah. often disguise himself and go on the market yeah. and be like you know like a, a a vendor on the street and that's how he would know what's happening in the country yeah. have you tried and, that I haven't tried that. Movie like with a hoodie or something? No, not with a hoodie and all. But I know masks did help quite a bit. Yeah, the masks did help. But I want to do this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In disguise. In disguise. You know, we also live in a time where I can imagine social media for young actors, particularly, can get rather overwhelming. And I'm sure your teams are constantly telling you about engagement and reach and relevance and you know all of those terms. In a moment of panic. or uh, when you possibly are having this moment of kho gaye hum kahan who are your sounding boards like who do you turn to other is chai time with the chaturvedi is still a thing because back in the, at least back in the day when gully boy happened he would sit with his parents and his brother at the dining table and trash out scripts yeah. is that still absolutely yeah yeah it, nothing has changed um Yeah, I mean, um, my parents watched the film last night. Uh, they were at the screening, and I was so excited because I had to stay back, back because few of my friends were there. I was so excited to go back home and just sit with them and just talk about the film. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is what I'm <laughs> doing this for. I don't know. There's this is my uh, you know uh, reward. I I feel. Uh, so I think they are always there to kind of. Up to mummy, papa, we Instagram pe aage. So. <laughs> अनाप शनाप चीज़ें अब डालना मैं बंद कर चुका हूँ सो कहीं ना कहीं वो चीज़ें बताते हैं कई बार ज़्यादा पोस्ट कर देता हूँ तो बोलते हैं कि ज़्यादा पोस्ट हो गया तुम्हारा और ये क्या जोन में चल रहे हो आजकल तुम <laughs> तो ये सारी चीज़ें आती हैं तो अब थैंकफुली वो भी आ गए हैं उस पर और ऐसे ऐसे मीन्स भेजते हैं पापा यार <laughs> एकदम मतलब बागबान वाले मीन्स आते हैं मेरे पास <laughs> कि मतलब मैं ही मतलब सबसे वो फादर वाले मीन्स नहीं होते और मम्मी सारा वो ये सारी चीज़ें भेजती हैं कुछ वो उनका भी अलग अलग ये नुस्खे भेजती हैं कुछ कि आयुर्वेदिक नुस्खे ये सारी चीज़ें भेजती रहती हैं तो काफ़ी मज़ा आता है वो भी एक देखने में बट या आई मीन इट्स इट्स दे आर द वंस हु एक्चुअली अदर माय फ्रेंड्स आर देर की प्रोलिंग मे ऑलवेज ट्रोलिंग यू या दर्ज अ ग्रुप कॉल लोंडा मस्ती दैट्स वाई ग्रुप वेर दे जस्ट कीप इफ एनी थिंग कम्स आउट I mean, were, if you've seen the video yesterday, they, you know, there were paps outside, and they all surrounded him like, "Abhi ham karenge," and they have acted like paps, and they are like, "Arey kya kar rahe ho tum log?" Yeah, so they keep me grounded, they keep trolling me, they don't never take me seriously. Uh, but uh, you know, after every film, we have sat down and chilled with them, which especially after this film, uh, because you, when you watch the film, you'll know, you know, some they were just like quiet, and I thought they hated the film. 
बट टूडे मॉर्निंग आई गॉट लाइक एंड दे नेवर मैसेज दे आर नॉट लाइक कि हाँ भाई तूने अच्छा दे नहीं बाब एक्नोलेज ही नहीं करना है कि हमने अच्छा काम किया कुछ नहीं हाँ आता है उसका पिक्चर है ठीक है अच्छा है बट पहली बार मेरे सब ने इंडिविजुअली बिकॉज ग्रुप में थे तो किसी ने रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं किया बट इंडिविजुअली एवरीबडी हैज रिटर्न लाइक लॉन्ग मैसेज इन अ वे वैद इट हैज काइंड ऑफ टच दैम एंड दैट्स वन आई नो दैट कि यार कुछ सही जा रहा है Yes, exactly the same. It's it's for me also. It's my parents are my sounding board for everything. We also don't have chai with chaturvedis. We have, I don't want to say pan with pan days. It doesn't sound so exciting, but uh, yeah, oh, we are. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why are you doing that? Imagine my mom doing that. Yeah, so uh, fabulous lives of the Bollywood wives. Uh, Cut to uh, pan with pan days. Yeah, no. Uh, but we do. We chat about everything, and they're actually my moral compass. You know how much ever I try to fight against it, and I'm like, I want to make my own decisions. I want to do this. I always find myself actually ending up doing what they said in the first place. And yeah, I don't know where I would have been honestly if they hadn't given me certain pieces of advice. But yeah, I like that. I like even now that I've moved out of my home, I, I couldn't go say. further than two floors away from my parents because for everything I still need my parents, and I like that. I don't want that to ever change. You know, even when I'm married and have children. and i'll be calling my parents for everything and i like that i like having that i'm very connected to my family my younger sister my friends exactly like said because i think that's what all of us you know keeps us all grounded normal and just makes things more real yeah yeah uh for me my sounding board is my brother i think he uh understands me uh we watch and like similar kind of cinema and he's very brutally honest with me i feel like he's not uh, afraid to uh deconstruct my performance and give me critical feedback if he has to and uh yeah i usually rely on him when i have to when i'm confused about a certain idea we usually jam um on a story with each other whenever he has the time and yeah he's he's my sounding board yeah yeah i'm not asking this question to anyone in particular and i'm asking for a friend um how does one keep a relationship private in the time of social media do you guys have any hacks in general I don't keep it private. Also then we won't look at you, okay? <laughs> He got away too easily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the worst person to ask this question. But you're doing pretty well. Am I? <laughs> I I think honestly with me it depends on like the day and it depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, um, you're not. Whatever it is, <laughs> joy or whatever it is, it really depends on the day because I feel like Some things are actually private, sure. and you like it's like you figure like imagine a normal relationship like without you know actors being involved. You're figuring it out with a person, you know. You're figuring out what you like, what you don't like, and then you have like the scrutiny of so many people placing their judgments, what they feel, their opinions. Oh, they don't look happy. This is this. This is that. Like you know, it it gets much tougher, and it adds a lot of pressure on yeah. something that's so. special and, and you know, and yeah yeah i guess so you do want to protect it because anyway so much of our lives is out you know every part mostly a lot of our lives are out there so you do whatever you can try to protect you should um but i'm also not i can't keep too many secrets and i like if you're happy and you know it clap your hands so everyone should just know that you're happy so i don't mind that also I, it really just depends on do we want to clap our hands guys <laughs> i've had too much coffee i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> Any tips and tricks from this side of the room? Um, that would confirm that I'm hiding it, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I just like to keep it private, um, a single or not, whatever it is, uh, because I only and only uh, want to be known for my work. Uh, I don't want um, nazar. Oh, Allah da gham mere. Hey, na na. Always. सो so, नज़र लगती है मुझे लगता है जो चीज़ से आप प्यार करते हो या जिससे भी भी आप प्यार करते हो उसको छुपा के रखना चाहिए मुझे ऐसा लगता है बहुत लोग नज़र लगाते हैं सबके अपने अपने ओपिनियंस होते हैं और ये अभी से नहीं है इवन वैन आई वॉज नॉट फेमस आई वुड लाइक टू कीप इट प्राइवेट ओनली इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट जितने भी क्योंकि जो चीज़ आप फील करते हो एक दूसरे के साथ वो कोई और नहीं फील कर सकता चाहे वो उसकी दोस्त हो चाहे वो मेरे दोस्त हो एंड वी टेंट टू काइंड ऑफ कीप वो शेयर थिंग्स एंड एंड दैट्स वॉट बिकम्स द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज तुम गुस्से में तो जाके अपने दोस्तों को बता दोगे कि उसने मेरे साथ ऐसा किया या सोशल मीडिया पे आपने स्टोरी डाल दी या कि मेरा दिल टूट गया है ऐसा हार्ट ब्रेक डाल के लेकिन उसके बाद जब चीज़ें ठीक होती हैं तो फिर यू नो चीज़ें गड़बड़ हो जाती हैं सो यू शुड ऑलवेज कीप इट प्राइवेट एंड या आई मीन दस नो हैक्स टू इट यार 
मेरे लिए तो यू नो इतने शोर में वो शांति है बस वो शांति होनी चाहिए बिकॉज एनी वे आई टोल यू सो मच ऑफ नॉइज आई आई लाइक टू बी जस्ट अलोन विथ और एंड आई लाइक दैट पीस ऑफ टाइम सो आई डोंट केयर इफ द वर्ल्ड इज वॉचिंग और वेटिंग वट एवर दे आर डूइंग बट आई जस्ट डोंट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट अ लव बिकॉज इज बिकमिंग रेयर बाई डे सो आई नो प्रोटेक्ट इट तो चीज़ें रेयर होती है एक्सटेंड होने वाली होती है तो उसको बचाते हैं ना प्यार भी एक्सटेंड ही हो रहा है धीरे धीरे तो आई थिंक वो जिसको जितना बचा सकते हो आप बचा लो This is that I just need a moment. Yeah. What do you mean? My husband is sitting in the crowd. It's the first time he's come to watch what I do, you and you're saying that love is extinct. No, love is forever. It can never be extinct. No, no, no. 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 Endangered भी है आई थिंक वो मायने बदल रहे हैं प्यार के वो चीज़ें बदल रही हैं जिस तरह से हम तुम मिलेनियल है मैं मिलेनियल जेन जी तू जब हाँ तू क्या ही समझेगी आई अंडरस्टैंड वे मोर देन पीपल थिंक आई डू शी डज शी डज सो बट या आई मीन जो जिस तरीके का हमारा मायना था जो प्यार का आई थिंक वो धीरे धीरे चेंज हो रहा है तो वो 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 वाला जो प्यार है ना वो अपना नाइन्टीज वाला जो है वो जो शाहरुख खान वाला प्यार है वो थोड़ा थोड़ा धीरे धीरे चेंज हो रहा है एंड वो इसी इसी फिल्म में देखेंगे किस तरह से सोशल मीडिया की वजह से क्या चीज़ें हो रही हैं सो आई आई लाइक टू कीप इट प्राइवेट एंड आई लाइक टू प्रोटेक्ट इट आई रियली रियली लाइक द लिटिल हैट टिप्स टू फिल्म लाइक दिल चाहता है एंड जिंदगी ना मिलेगी दोबारा दैट यू गाइज अ पेपोर्ट इन टू द फिल्म एज वेल डू यू हैव अ फेवरेट फिल्म ऑन फ्रेंडशिप एंड लाइक अ मेमरी वॉचिंग इट पर्स बिफोर आई ओपन इट अप टू दी ऑडियंस गाइज सो कैट रेड वीरा गांधी को मिली थी Chuck, let's start with you then. We have three films. Three did. Oh, ah, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite film. Since you mentioned Dil Chahta Hai, I'll have to say it, it was Dil Chahta Hai, but Joji Tha Wo Sikandar. Yeah. So Amir, 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 Amir. Amir fans are sorry. I was going to say, कुछ कुछ होता है, because प्यार दोस्ती है. You get it's it? True. Yeah, yeah. और क्या करता दोस्ती साथ हो? Goes, 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 and conveniently then. comes back. <laughs> Relationships are complicated, okay, and it was ahead of its time, I feel. Basketball, खेलते खेलते साइड तो नहीं नीचे जाए तब जाए. No, I feel like it showed like a boy and girl's friendship at that, that time. It was unique. You said I can rewatch that film. Rahul and Ali. Salman, Salman. <laughs> On that note, can I get a little fish bowl out? We're gonna have some oh, audience okay. questions that you can pick a name, say it out loud, and. Just wait till we pass you a mic, Me? and then you can ask away. Wait, so if I pick it, I have to answer. No, anyone no. can answer. It may not be for. Very you competitive. Words. I don't know why. Uh, Yash Panchal. 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 Sorry. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Yash. Uh, I'm a cinematographer. Uh, I wanted to ask that uh, as actors, you work with different DOPs, different crews, and <clears throat> what are your expectations on? How do you want to look on screen, and what are your experiences working with different DOPs? Your experience working, working with, with different, different DOPs. Expectations like, or experiences? Both, experiences both. and like, what are your expectations on like how do you want to look on screen? Jaisa mere director chahiye yar, main usme. I mean, main main is itna. I don't know. Um, There should be a good chemistry between the director and the uh, DOP. I think that's what uh, I would like. It's like a marriage. It's like husband and wife. Uh, right. That's what is. Uh, uh, that's all for me. If that is there, and you know, कई बार होता set पे कि कई बार disagreements होती हैं. That really takes you off. Uh, and uh, hopefully, अभी तक ऐसा कुछ हुआ नहीं है मेरे साथ. But that that's the expectation that they bond really well, so that our job becomes easier to you know focus on our craft rather than uh, given instructions from different sides. You know. and uh, i like uh, dupes who uh, you know uh, are give you your space you know and then don't you know uh, move you around too much because you block first and then you kind of set the camera uh, so i really like that uh, about yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah that's that's really helpful for us as actors yeah, but actually that they're the closest to us you know when we're shooting yeah. closer than the director in terms of physical proximity they're right next to us so i think a sense of You sometimes before a shot it happens. You just turn to them first instinctively, and it, it's it's. I think that reassuring, that assurity they give you, or that peace, yeah. or as, as Sid said, space that they give you, and being invisible in the best way possible because they kind of almost have to be like the camera. And our film Tanesh shot it mostly handheld, so he was yeah. always 
around us. It wasn't like a camera was set up and he could go and sit anywhere else. Yeah. The whole film is handheld actually. So I think a sense of invisibility in, in a good way, you know, just there when you need, but like kind of, yeah. Like I feel like my best experiences of working with cinematographers have been when the camera movement is always is almost planned as a motivation to the actor's movement. Yeah, like it's correlated with the actor's movement as opposed to this is my frame. Yeah, and of course there are some shots uh, which are done like that where this is a frame and you need to come here and you need to stand and look away and it's going to look beautiful. But when scenes are performance related or dynamic, I feel like it helps me as an actor when. Um, the camera is sort of almost not following me, but like um, in sync. Just, yeah, in yeah. sync with my performance and my movement, yeah. not the other way around. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks, yes. Abhishek Shenapati. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> What's Hi, up, man? How you doing? He shot the photos in the BTS. Yeah. Hotel. Oh, he's super talented. He Thank is. You. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, hi. So uh, my question would be actually to uh, Neil Ahana and. Uh, Imad, then me growing up, I had a circle of friends in which I was the only guy. You were what? I was guy. the only guy in my circle of friends from childhood, right? I would like to be in your <laughs> circle of friends. Yes. Yeah, so because of that, uh, a lot of traits I uh, got from them, like having empathy or like, you know, care and uh, not to be a walking red flag in a way. So I got a lot of traits from because growing up with surrounding with a lot of uh, in females and I was also around my aunties and my mom so I would want to ask like uh, for Ahana was like he was it what or for each of you what traits did you exchange within each other in terms of what learned because you guys are also childhood friends in the film so what things that you also exchanged from each other in terms of traits that you learned because we don't get to see also so many stories about friendships in which it's either the three guys or the three girls uh, not a friendship as such तू शो ऑफ कर रहा था क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा था मैं बस ये पूछ रहा था कि इट्स लाइक बिकॉज़ इन इन द फिल्म ऑल दिस थ्री पीपल हैव चेंज इन फ्रेंड्स आई आई ऑनेस्टली फील दैट इट्स द बेस्ट एक्चुअली यू नो टू बी रेज्ड अराउंड वुमेन आई आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स द बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑफ अ मैन यू नो दैट्स द बेस्ट द फाइनेस्ट मैन यू कैन बी क्रिएटेड यू नो एंड इट्स इट्स ब्यूटीफुल मैन यू आर लाइक रियली फॉर्चूनेट एंड um especially in this dynamic you know uh, there's so much i learned from her you know uh, there's a lot of things you know because yes ladke hote hain to ladkon ka to alag hi tangent pe cheeze chalti hai but uh, as soon as a girl is in in the group now there's 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 something which is uh, very uh, um uh, pristine about it there's something which is very pure about it there's something which is you know softness that uh, this just binds sensitivity like you the said the sensitivity that it just binds you all together and you become sensitive to the boys as well then you know like if she is in the group we also become sensitive to each other automatically so that's the magic of you know a lady uh, and and you also learn how to address things yes, yes. you also yeah. learn, learn how to speak up yeah. and that's beautiful i think uh, because ladkon mein koi baat nahi hoti hai yes sari cheeze ho jati hai bas baat nahi karenge ek dusre se matlab unka alag hi hota hai ladkon ka but ek ladki ke aane se i think wo cheeze kafi zyada you think uh, intimacy i think aur zyada kareeb aati hai ek friendship ki yeah koi bhi relationship yeah and i also feel there's more order with women you know i feel like there's huh. uh, with men it's usually more chaos i'm not i don't want to generalize it but there there's more order there's more cleanliness there's more kind of structure to your life yeah. with women around you yeah, yeah. like boys hostel versus girls hostel yeah. it's literally that <laughs> well thank you for that question that really was a beautiful answer let's have sit pick oh you put this one back in no Also. I also want to say you go to like girl friends for different things and like boyfriend like guy friends for different boy things. Boyfriends, guy friends, boy Mazak friends or boys <laughs> for different things. Like sometimes when I just want someone to overreact with me, I go to my girlfriends being like, "How can you say this?" But when I ask my guy friends the same thing, they'll give me a sane perspective on something. Yeah. So you have different friends for different things. Yeah, absolutely. And I also want to say that another film that I love friendship is Ye Jawani Hai Diwani. I love that friendship movie. I just yeah. want to just uh, open your chat. <laughs> And why do you love that film? I just love who the all friendship. are there in the just, film. Just said Tell it. me who all are there in the. Tell me the cast. Who's I friendship dynamic? I just love dynamic? the friendship in that movie. It is a beautiful movie. Yeah, because it's a co-ed friendship with beautiful yeah, people. Some like segue. Ronak Singh. On that note. <laughs> Ronak, are you here? Ronak, so good. Hi. Good evening. So good. Achana, good. Hi. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> 
so i just have a very simple question to all three of you from the whole audience perspective how does it feel to sit over the stage and talk about yourself or about your life and uh, coming from the or one from the audience like i i, I know adarsh i know siddharth you you guys i know you also ananya <laughs> I I just want to ask how does it feel to sit over to the stage like all of us want to sit one day there and I just want to know the feeling of sitting over there that Andy lag rahi hai mujhe thank you Thodi thandi hai na maine to jacket dal li How does it feel to be here yeah. How does it feel to be It's actually a very good question It's a good question it's hard to define what it Good means. question it hurt me <laughs> मुझे नहीं लगता लाइफ में इतना कुछ उखाड़ा है उसके बाद भी आप लोग यहाँ आए और बैठे हैं और सुन रहे हैं हमको आई थिंक मेरे लिए तो इट्स अ वेरी आई फील वेरी यू नो हम्बल एंड आई फील वेरी फॉर्चुनेट कि ऐसा हो रहा है And uh, I think ये 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 जो स्टेज का खाली ये जो दायरा है ऊँच नीच इसमें मैं मानता नहीं हूँ मुझे लगता है हम सब बराबर ही बैठे हुए हैं अगर ये ऐसा स्ट्रक्चर ना होता और एक सर्कल में भी हम लोग बैठे होते तो आई थिंक कुछ अलग नहीं होता हम ऐसी ही बातें करते uh, यही है कि कुछ लोगों को कुछ लोगों का पहले हो जाता है कुछ लोगों को बाद में समय लगता है uh, मैं लकी था मेरा पहले हो गया मेरे बहुत सारे दोस्त हैं जो अभी भी कोशिश कर रहे हैं जो कि शायद आज यहाँ होते तो भी तुम्हारे साथ ही बैठे होते बट वही है और हम साथ में तो घर पे बैठते हैं सारी चीज़ें करते हैं चिल करते हैं चाय पीते हैं लेकिन वही है किसी किसी को टाइम लगता है किसी किसी को ये लगता है लेकिन ये जो मुकाम है ये स्टेज है ये सिर्फ एक आई थिंक एक चीज़ है जिससे मैं ज़्यादा ऐसे नहीं होता इफेक्टिव नहीं होता मुझे ऐसे नहीं लगता कि आप भाई भाई स्टेज पर आए हो मैं इतने लोगों के सामने स्पीच दे रहा हूँ शुरू शुरू में लगता था ऑनेस्टली बिकॉज तुम्हें भी लगेगा जब वैन यू मेक इट बिग तुम्हें भी शुरू में ऐसा लगेगा कि कर लिया मैंने बट एक टाइम के बाद यू रियलाइज दैट द वेरी पॉइंट ऑफ बीइंग हियर इज टू बी एबल टू कनेक्ट टू यू गाइस मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड दैट इज दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस क्राफ्ट नॉट टू गेट अवे फ्रॉम यू नॉट टू राइज ऑन अ हायर स्टेटस और एनीथिंग अंशुमन ज्योतिषी यू पिक्ड अप टू ज्योतिषी है यार कुछ बताए अच्छा अंशुमन ज्योतिषी कौन है ओके वी विल गिव लाइक रैपिड फायर आंसर अंशुमन ज्योतिषी क्या हुआ और वंशिका रेलान व्होएवर गेट्स अप फर्स्ट देयर शी इज हाय थैंक्स फॉर पिकिंग माय नेम नो ऑब्वियसली माय क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू कुड सॉप योर लाइफ विद अ फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर हु वुड दैट बी एंड व्हाई हैवी सॉप योर लाइफ विद अ फिक्शनल कैरेक्टर हु वुड इट बी एंड व्हाई और ही का नाम क्या था जवानी दीवानी अदिति ऐसे ही इंटरेस्टिंग थिंकिंग Possibly Harry Potter. Yeah. Is that such a crazy journey? That is like fun, Harry. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like Ron, Hermione, and Harry. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Just me. No. That. <laughs> I have no clue. I. No fictional character. No. Um, who do I swap my life? I think Rancho is yeah. one of my favorite films. Oh, yeah. Three Idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah, iconic character. Yeah. Look, which. Alag hi hai. यू नो ऐसा बंदा हो ना कि मतलब सब कुछ मालूम है फिर भी इतना खुश होना यू नो ना जितना आप नॉलेज आता है आपके पास आप और स्ट्रेस होते जाते हो बट विद रैंचो इट वॉज दैट सो लाइट ही न्यू एवरी थिंग एंड ही वॉज जीनियस बट ही वॉज सो चिल एंड सो फ्रेंडली एंड यू नो सो ईजी एंड ही कैड अबाउट एवरी बड़ी एड एम्पथी ही वॉज फनी एज एवरी थिंग सो आई थिंक रैंचो इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक कैरेक्टर्स रिटर्न इन आर इंडियन सिनेमा या यू अग्री या I agree. I agree. What? I feel like I gave a very like the ah, answer, and Sim gave a very like deep answer. So I'm thinking. Baba Sidhan Chitra. Yeah, we are going to call him Baba Sidhan. Arey Jyotishi kaha gaya? Us to bulao. Mera saath mein bed test ke baad. Will 
Thank you. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wish we could like really keep. I know, right? But well, that's all the time we have uh, tonight, guys. They really do have a screening to go to. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I have had the privilege of watching the film, perks of being a journalist. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. And on the 26th of December, you guys are in for a really, really beautiful ride on friendship, relationships, and so much more. Thank you for being on Thank front you row. For